But Top Cape Palace was much more than a royal residence, a place where the Sultan hung out with his wives and concubines. It was the epicentre of empire, the seat of government, and the command headquarters of an Ottoman military machine dead set on expansion. In less than 70 years since the conquest of Constantinople, the empire had taken Egypt and northern Algeria and was advancing on Iraq to the east and Hungary to the north. Money was pouring in from all fronts as the empire entered a golden age under the leadership of one of the greatest sultans the Ottomans would ever know, Suleiman I, commonly known as Suleiman the Magnificent. As the 10th Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, commander of the faithful and successor to the Prophet, I intend to create the greatest civilization the world has ever seen and unite East and West under one supreme Ottoman Caliphate. I shall restructure the tax and legal systems so that justice reigns throughout the land and encourage education and the arts so we may become the envy of the world. In military matters, I have wasted no time having captured the city of Belgrade within the first years of my rule. But there is still very much more to do. Suleiman the Magnificent is the figure that the Ottoman Empire owes its peak, not only in military success, but in art, in uh, building, in uh, social life, 